How you guys doing? I'm Taylor Kay. You guys got to make some noise. He's performed for the Queen, the Olympics. He was nominated for the Grammys, two Brit Awards. He's got over 6.6 .6 million Twitter followers, and he's here to perform for Up Close and Personal. Ed Sheeran, everybody! I like, yeah, have a seat. I, I got that hug like we know each other. We, I mean, we've spoken. We spoke. We said we hi. Spoke, yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, you got me the Maltesers. We, I got him. Yeah, I got you Maltesers. Just eating them. Yeah. We all know the Maltesers thing. We're not going to get you to do it here. Please. Okay, thank you. Uh, of course, we'll say hi to everybody online as well because there's people uh, watching online. So hello to everybody hello. around the world. You're right. And now, for everyone around the world, of course, this is intimate. Before you, uh, you're on tour with Taylor Swift. You love Canada here because you have a maple tattoo, don't you? A maple do, leaf. Yeah. Last time you were here, show it off. <laughs> when did you got the? You got that last year? Or what? I, I got that. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly a year ago. Oh exactly my gosh. A year ago, yeah. Excellent. And yet now you've got. You're starting the second sleeve here. Mm. I promise us, and Pinky, Pinky, swear to me that you're not going to go up to your neck. Are oh, you no, 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 no. Well, I, yeah, I want to wear a suit one day and get married, and I think, like, yeah. Oh. should kind of end around there. Woo! <laughs> should kind of end around there. You're, you're always... That's why, that's, why I, that's why I never got my hands done. Okay, good. Yeah, because you're going to... Are you going to get the ring tattoo? No. No? <laughs> no. I know, I know an elderly couple that had a ring tattoo, and your skin actually grows, so their ring is now, oh. like, up here. Ew! So yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> There's so. lots of things that happen to elderly people, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, let's, let's talk about the two... <laughs> Let's talk about the tour uh, with Taylor Swift. How did that come about? You guys are besties. And sh did she just text you? Uh, yeah, well, emailed, yeah, emailed. All right. Yeah. And you, but you guys did I work... Change, I change my number a lot. I'm quite, I'm quite elusive. Um, well, I know you change your number because uh, you spend a lot of money on cell phones. Yeah. Like, what, $5,000 was the last one you went to L.A. and now you have an L.A. phone, or...? Yeah, I did, I did do that. I got, I got an American phone, though, um, so now I'm paying, like, Fifty dollars a month. Uh, no, I, I lost my English phone. Yeah, sorry, um, in Texas. But uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. No, I got that. I got that phone bill, and um, I don't. I don't. I don't care who you are. That that, that hurts. That yeah. hurts. Even even if it was like a billionaire, they'd still be like, I'm an idiot. So yeah. Okay, those Romney charges. Okay, let's <laughs> let's talk about Taylor Swift and everything has changed and and that duet and the video because. Did you come up with the concept for that? That was actually, yeah, that was my idea for the Give Me Love video originally. That was meant oh to be really? for, for my video, yeah. And now, if, if people <laughs> haven't seen the video, it's really cute. There's like mini, uh, a mini ad and a mini, ta a mini tailor. Are you the big brother or the dad in the video? That's what I want to ask. I'd like to think I was the dad. I'd like to think I like gave birth. Not, not when you, well. But, here's, <laughs> but like here's the thing, you're 22 and in, 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 the, in the video, the little boy's eight. So you would have had, if we do our math. I think, I think he was six in real life. So oh. I, I, I would have had a kid at 16. 16. Which is possible. I'm potent. <laughs> no, okay. That's good to know you're potent. That's awesome. You do talk about kids and family a lot. When you're looking for a woman, maybe here in our intimate <laughs> theater. What's, who's your dream girl? Like, what are you looking for in a dream girl? Wife um, material. Wife material. Um, comfort. Comfort, I think, is the main thing. Yeah. yeah it's really Com cute. Uh, comfort. Yeah. Does she have to cook? Uh, well, I've, I've actually started cooking a bit more. So, um, no, she doesn't have to cook. She has to help cook. Yeah. She okay. has to help cook. She can prep. Yeah. Like, if I'm cutting up something here, you have to be cutting up something there. Okay, You yeah. can't just be sitting That's down your area. looking in the aisles thinking, I'm so pretty. Like, you can't, <laughs> you can't, you can't be doing that. We w you'd be divorcing me right away. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. My yeah, and, and also also someone that gets on with my with with my family and, and friends. Yeah. yeah, that's a good thing. You're well, yeah, but you just don't want someone to kind of drag you out of that. So like, yeah, yeah, that's not so, fun. and and w going back to to Taylor Swift, she is like family to you, right? Now, I mean, her dad has helped you a couple it, months ago buy. Yeah, her, it's, is it's it rent a house or buy a house in Nashville? Rent a house in Nashville, okay. but like, yeah, I've just like, and I've started hanging out with her brother a whole lot as well. So yeah, it's really like. Yeah, it's, 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 it's family vibes. It's awesome just to have that over here because your mom and dad are so far away and to have that support that That's you have That's what here. I was saying to her dad. Her, her, her dad, actually. Like, it's really, it's really nice to feel part of, like, they have this little kind of swift community where it's all, it's all the band and the dancers and then the, there's Taylor and her brother and the parents. And the, it, it, there's, like, they're always so close and together and they go out for meals and dinners. And it's nice to kind of come up to America knowing no one and now right. be part of you know, something like that. It's good. All right, well, you know what, let's get to some music. Another video that I like is Lego House, where we have Rupert Grint, the only other famous redhead that I really know uh, from here. Who's it? 
who's an obsessed fan in the video. Lego has you, you gonna play it for us? Yeah, yeah. I'll, Live? Yeah, yeah. Can I hold your mic? I'm gonna hold your mic. Okay. And you're gonna and then you can do that thing and then we'll come back. Yeah. Hello. You right? Hello. So uh um thank you all thank you all for coming down. I heard some of you have been waiting since quite early in the morning, so yeah. six AM. Well, thank you. Um, you should get some sleep after this time. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be playing songs and then going back to chat. Yeah. I'm going to pick up the pieces and build a Lego house. And if things go wrong, we can knock it down. Three words have two meanings But there's one thing on my mind It's all for you mm -hmm. And it's dark in a cold December But I got you to keep me warm If you're broken I will mend you And I keep you sheltered from the storm That's raging on now I'm out of touch, I'm out of love I'll pick you up when you're getting down out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now I'm out of sight, I'm out of mind I'll do it all for you in time And out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now oh. I'm gonna paint you by numbers And colour you in go right we could frame it put you on a wall and it's so hard to say it but i've been here before now i'll surrender up my heart and swap it for yours now i'm out of touch i'm out of love i'll pick you up when you're getting down and out of all these things i've done i think i love you better now i'm out of sight i'm out of mind do it all for you in time And out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now Don't hold me down now I think the braces are breaking And it's more than I can take oh. And it's dark in a cold December But I got you to keep me warm if you're broken, I will mend you And I keep you sheltered from the storm That's raging on now wow. mm -hmm. I'm out of touch, I'm out of love I'll pick you up when you're getting down And out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now I'm out of sight, I'm out of mind I'll do it all for you in time out of all these things I've done I think I love you better now I'm out of touch, I'm out of love I'll pick you up when you're getting down Out of all these things I've done I'll love you better now Awesome! Ed Sheeran, up close and personal in the theater you too. <laughs> Ed, you have an incredible work ethic. You started, like, when did you release your first EP? When you were 13? Four, 14. Four, okay, sorry, 14. I, I did, I did actually, did I released a CD when I was 13, but it wasn't, like, released. I, I, I burnt the CDs on my computer and I know, I called some uncles to find myself. this information, so 13, yeah. yeah. Well, if you, if you find that, I'm, I printed up 50 of the first one. If you can find that. Then, All right, I'll like, try. Congratulations. You really haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you really haven't. But I mean, no one knows about it. It isn't even listed on the on the Wikipedia. No one knows about it. Yeah, uh, you put in your time though. Like so 13, 14 you're releasing EPs, 16 you tell your parents, listen, I'm not going to college, right? This is But did you Well, I, uh, yeah, I, I mean I, I told them that pretty much every day up until then, but that was the day that they kind of like gave in. Yeah. And uh, w your dad was accepting. How did your mom react to that? Not well. Not Not well. No, but like any mum, any mum with any kid, if you say, right, I'm going to go to a place where uh, I have no form of income and nowhere to live, right. <laughs> and I'm going to hang around with loads of old people that do drugs, like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's not exactly like, 
yeah. It's, it's like, oh, this is perfect. awesome. Yeah. Oh, my God. No. Now, of course, you did 400 shows, right? Yeah. Up until you're 19. You're, are you thinking about your mom's reaction? No, just, <laughs> just, just the sort of people I used to hang around with them, oh. actually. Oh, like, okay, tell like us. <laughs> Do tell us about some of the characters you hung out with. Just There's got to be like, one. I, 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 I never had one friend that was under, like, under 28, and I lived at all these different places, and they were all, like... I mean, squat's the wrong word. I mean, it was like, they were like... Did you couch surf? Is that what you did? Yeah, floor surf sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, it, it was cool. I remember, I remember one time I used to uh, <laughs> stay, stay around uh, the student house, and they didn't have a towel, and, and everyone was out of the house, and he had a Green Day poster on the wall, and I had a shower, and I couldn't find a towel, and I literally just scraped water no! off <laughs> Yeah, literally just scraped all the Paper water cuts. off me with it, yeah. So, like, I mean, that's... There's that. There's that. I used to. I, uh, th there's a tube line in in England called the Circle Line that goes all the way around. And sometimes when I wouldn't have a place to stay, I'd wait for the tube to open at five o'clock in the morning and then sit on the, tube no. <laughs> the Circle Line and go round and round and round. Where would you shower though? Uh, those days? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Like there's 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 videos of me on the internet doing like promo bits when I'm like 18, 19, and yeah. I just look like death. Like. I just thought that was your look. I thought out. that was. I'm like, wow. This oh is well, a no. Th this look is right now. this is clean. This is clean death. Like I, I, sh I, sh I shower every day now. But yeah, th th there was a point. There was a point where I didn't or couldn't. But yeah. Uh, well, let's talk. Let's talk about all the uh, touring that you did. Did you? Do? It's not depressing. <laughs> it's your. It's your life story about your success. Now you did about like 400 shows from what? From 16 to 19 or more? Did probably I yeah. Probably more. Probably more. I was averaging. I d um, one year I did about 300. I was averaging about 200 a year. Did you treat that like school? Like that was like you you learned yeah, a lot I from the music I industry. I treated it, treat it like a day job. Yeah, I'd 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 find somewhere in the day to go and to go and write a song, and then in the evening I'd go and perform. And I tried to do that every single day, so I came out of it with a lot of gig experience and a lot of songs. Do you feel like you've learned from because you were you were pitching songs and going to different producers? Where did you learn? Okay, I know this character. I got this character. Yeah, and and I love it because all the people that turned me down and never gave me any time are all approaching me now, and I'm just right. like, no. Tell tell us tell us about some of the rap producers you're working with. They've got three stages with their head nods or something when they're liking songs. Apparently. Uh, yeah, there's there's three different stages for a rap producer. If they, they like an Ed Sheeran song. It, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, there was one specific producer that I was sitting with, and I put on a song. And they'd be like the that's it, the first one, and then they'd be like, I really like this, which is the backwards head nod. Okay, we'll do that. And then and then there's the one that can go one of two ways, and I'd like to describe. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna swear, so just yeah. They, yeah, I'd like to describe it as as two things, but initially it's as if someone has taken a shit in your kettle. <laughs> it's the kind of disgusted <laughs> look. It is the disgusted look where you're just like. But they like it. It's one of two things. They could either be going. No, or they could be going. Yeah, but like I, I remember I sat I sat in the studio with uh with with, with Timberland actually and played played him a song and he just went like that <laughs> and I, I and it was the first song I played him and I'd, I'd never really met Timberland properly and, I, and I'm a massive Timberland fan and I was just looking at him for like four minutes being like, does he like it? <laughs> and then and in the end he just goes dope and I was like sick. <laughs> well, how about how about we start doing the head bob and you play another song? I don't know what you're gonna you're gonna play something else for us. Yeah, surprise, I'm gonna, yeah, right? I'm gonna play something. Else. Well, it's not really a surprise, but yeah, I'll, I'll play something. Else. I'm sorry for swearing for all the young youngins in the audience. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I played a uh, I played a Australian radio station um, in March, fe no February, and they said p uh, play a song that you wouldn't usually cover. So I chose this one. It's quite a fun song. And if you know it, then you know it. And if you don't, then you will. <laughs> cool. Shorty, get down. Good Lord. Baby, got me tripping all over town. Strictly bitch, you don't play around. Cover much ground. Got game by the pound. And getting paid is a forte. Each and every day, the true play away. I can't get her out of my mind. Wow, I think about the girl all the time. Wow, wow. And east side to the west side, pushing fat rides is no surprise. She got tricks in the stash, stacking up the cash quick when it comes to the gas. I'm by no means average. She's on and she's got to have it. Baby, you're a perfect 10. I wanna get in. Let me get down so I can win. I like the way you're working. No diggity, I'm about to bag it up. I like the way you work it, no diggity. I'm about to bag it up, bag it up now. I like the way you work it, no diggity. I'm about to bag it up. I like the way you work it, no diggity. I'm about to bag it up. 
She's got class and style Street knowledge by the pound Shorty never act wild Very low key on the profile now Catching feelings is a no So let me tell you how it goes Curbs the word, spins the verb Loving it curse so freak what you heard I'm Rolling with the fatness You never quite know what the half is you got to pay to play Just for shorty bang bangs it look your way I like the way you work it Top notch trump tie every day You're blowing my mind, baby in time Maybe I could get you in my ride I like the way you work it No diggity, I'm about to bag it I like the way you work it No diggity, I'm about to bag it Bag it up now I like the way you work it No diggity, I'm about to bag it up I like the way you work it, no diggity, I'm about to bag it up Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, damn that girl looks good Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, play on, play on, play on And hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, damn that girl looks good Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo Now I'm gonna pop some tags, only got twenty dollars in my pocket I, I, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is freaking awesome. Now, now I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I, I, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is freaking awesome. Now, now I'm gonna pop some tags. No diggity, I'm about to bag it up. Now, now I'm gonna pop some tags. No diggity, I'm about to bag it up. Now, now I'm gonna pop some tags. No diggity, I'm about to bag it up. Now, now I'm gonna pop some tags. No diggity, about to bag it up. Amazing. Ed Sheeran, up close and personal. Hey, you know what? What do you love about Canada? Because you've been here, you've, and you know, you, I know you love Canadian women. I'm just I mean, saying I, that. If you don't say it, we're going to attack I, you. I mean, I do, but like, what's the, where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Well, yeah. here. No, no, I know, I know, I, I know, but I, I, I thought you were you, kind of like hinting that I'd. I don't know, have, I didn't talk to an uncle something. about that one. No, uh, I don't have any photos or Instagram photos okay. of you with any Canadian women. Cool. I'm not going to do all Kanye or Kim Kardashian on you. It's nothing like oh, that. Right. Okay. So, but, but you love your Canadian. You I do, I do. What is it about I Canada? Um, it was the one country that I came came here and I already had like a fully formed fan base. I didn't really have to do much. I, like, I turned up and played a big show and I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Every other country I've been in and kind of like really kind of hammered away and grafted away and started from the bottom and kind of worked my way up. And I just remember the. Yeah, start, yeah exactly. Drake. Drake started from the bottom. I, I, I didn't dance in the snow though. He, lo he looked like he was having fun, didn't he? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In any other scenario, that would be the least gangster thing in the world. Dancing Drake, in the snow. what are you going to do for your new music video? I'm going to dance in the snow. <laughs> I love your Canadian accent. Do, the, do another Canadian accent. I, um, know, I know you can do American really. We're very similar, both of them. Yeah, it's, that it's very And you say a boot, a boot. A boot. We don't really a say a boot. A boot. You right? do, do I, I know. I know some Canadians <laughs> that do that. But it's like everyone thinking that English people just drink tea and eat crumpets, which we do, but we, do we don't talk about you it. You do have a teacup tattoo, do you not? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm just saying, so what is it about? Where do you where did you get your work ethic from? From your from your parents? Would you from say? From my dad, I think. Yeah, from my dad, because my dad always complained that I never did homework, and he was like, "You need to like step your work ethic up." And it was never it was never that I didn't want to do homework. It's just like I felt it, it complete. Parents don't hate me, but I, I felt I just felt it was just a bit pointless to learn about trigonometry if I were, if like I knew exactly knew exactly what I wanted to do, and I just felt doing two hours of trigonometry homework when I could be like. Doing, like, yeah, singing or something, but you know, like, so yeah, and I think my dad, me, me and my dad had a lot of clashes at a young age because he was like, you really need to like start working and do like a good work ethic and d d d apply your school life to your real life and like focus on the homework and do the exams and then that all kind of work in in the real world, work real world. And I just remember leaving home with with my guitar and, and, and getting to London and it just clicking and me it, it didn't it wasn't really work I, w I, I was enjoying it so um yeah I guess that's that's where the work ethic came from um and now when he comes when he comes to your gigs does he's like oh thank goodness it's yeah no but he's been saying that for a while before <laughs> I had but, but, but before I had like real success he, yeah. he, he he saw he saw how hard I was working so I think he's always been proud it, it, the success hasn't made him proud it's more like Having having the work ethic, but yeah, obviously, I mean, yeah, I get to do nice things for them now, which is cool. Yeah, and you know, and I think I think you're a, you're a brilliant songwriter, right, guys? 
And, and you are smart because you're writing for other artists, and that's like investments because then you don't have to tour. They get to tour, and you get to make all the money, right? It definitely works, yeah. It definitely works. But um, it's, it's more of a, an investment for, for the future. It's kind of like having a CV and going to university and getting your degree just so you can have it later on in life to get something else. So, like, all of this now, all of this, having... Like the t the song with Taylor has just been a hit hit in Europe, which is cool, and the and the um, One Direction song I wrote went number one there and stuff, which was also cool. But like, that's more to just have on a CV. So when I eventually want to slow down a little bit and not tour 24/7, that'll probably be in like like 15 years or something. Yeah. The point where you have kids, I think you should step out a little bit and focus on that, um, because you don't want your kids growing up and. On a tour bus? No. Yeah. Well, or just growing up and being tearaways. You know, you need to be there and. Discipline. What a good dad he's going to be, right? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, so at, at that point, that's when I'm going to start writing songs. And if I can go into record labels and be like, I've had this amount of hits, not just for me, but for other people, and this works, so this is what I want to do now. And then, and then I can just sit in my garden in a shed all day. <laughs> and that's it. Sounds pretty cool, right? You were, you were at somebody's house the other day leaving with your guitar. <laughs> so we're just assuming that there could be a collaboration. I know she's... They're Taylor and it her wasn't friend. It, it wasn't that at all. She, she. This so is that's the story. why I'm glad. Tell this us the, the story. This that's is the story. This is the story. Right? Because they, I, all these stories came out, and they were like, "Oh, he's working on her with songs." And I was like, "Oh, how, how do you get that from me going into a car?" Like, but um, <laughs> she, she threw a house party. There were a lot of people there. I happened to be one of them. <laughs> and that's that. I, that was it. Yeah, that was it. And I got into a car the next day to go, and I had my guitar on me because I just come from tour with Taylor. Like. Yeah, it's and it's all of a sudden it's a collaboration, and people are thinking this, but, but it's just a party. I think people just got very, very excited. But yeah, no, yeah, it was, it was, it was cool. It was cool. Uh, there was D Diddy's son was there, and he brought some Ciroc, which I'd never had before. What? That was fun. <laughs> At a party with Diddy, pretty cool. No, no, oh, no, his son. Oh, his son. His son oh, yeah. Diddy's son. Who's That's pretty cool okay. as well. He's still pretty cool. He's Diddy's pretty cool. Son. He's a, he's, he's a lady killer. They love him. Oh, I love yeah. it. <laughs> so now you're writing a lot for 2014, and when you get breaks in between this tour you're writing now do you have like I heard you were challenging yourself like a hundred songs a hundred days is that true or yeah yeah I so did what, what song or how many uh, back in April I think or May you were I at like 50 or something yeah I did I've, I've done around 60 but the problem is like what I didn't realize is I thought like 80% of them would be really bad but I've yeah. ended up with like fi 50 or 60 songs that I want to put on an album so I stopped because I was like I can't <laughs> I can't pick yeah. I can't pick so I'm um yeah I went I went into a studio the other day and played through 26 songs in a row in in a booth with a with with, with a guitar just to see which ones worked best in that situation because that's how this is how I'm going to be performing them. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so I went I went into a studio and just played through everything that I had, which was like 26 songs. So I played through all of them and then whittled that down to about 14, which I'm recording now. But that that was a stressful <laughs> stressful studio session though, like 26 songs in that a row. At the end of it, I was just drained, like uh, like yeah, on the sofa sleeping. So we can expect it sometime in 2014. Now we're we're wrapping up really soon, guys, because I. I but we want to yeah. talk like oh. very soon. But um, let's talk about uh, the song that was a breakout single here in North America, the A Team, and what it's about. Because do you? It, it's about a girl named Angel. You were doing a gig uh -huh. at, a, at a homeless shelter, and then tell us a little bit more. Why don't you tell everyone? No, no one wants to hear from me. Um, does everyone know the story? <laughs> Who doesn't know the story? Okay, well the story. The story. The story. Um, originally, I was. I, 18, and I went into a homeless shelter to do uh, to play for them, do a song over Christmas, and it was about a woman that I met called Angel, and it inspired the song. Yeah, I was I was quite young and naive, and doing the whole circle line tube thing, I was like, oh, I have it bad, but I really don't compared. Like, so yeah, it kind of re it was like a big reality wake up check, and the song came from it. And it didn't expect it to do to do what it did. It was never meant to be the first single. The first single of the album was meant to be Drunk. Really? Originally, yeah, and uh, I had already made a music video for the, for the 18 before I yeah. signed. So I signed, and we were getting drunk, ready to kind of put to radio, and radio just playlisted 18 in it, and like everyone was like, "Oh, well, that's all right." And then it just became a hit, and it and there was a point where it was at like it was it was at number three for about nine weeks, yeah. and then it started slipping a little bit, and so we went with another single, and then it went back up to nine, number three, and we couldn't really get another single away because it just kept kept going so it, it wor yeah it was a it was a bigger success than we expected it to be and, and have you seen angel i mean you saw that one night no there was a there was, there was a newspaper that was trying to track it down in 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 england um for for a bit but it's very hard to keep tabs on people that don't have fixed abodes well let's let's hear a team cool um let's thank you very much for coming down guys thank you
We can do the thank you after, too. Oh, we're going to yeah. do a thank you after. Okay, so we're going to do a thank you after. He's going to play and say thank you, and then right. he's got to go. I'm sorry for rambling and saying random stuff. White lips, pale face, breathing in snowflakes, burnt lungs, sour taste. Lights gone, days end, struggling to pay rent, long nights, strange men. They say she's in the class 18, stuck in her daydream. Been this way since 18, but lately your face seems slowly sinking, wasting, crumbling like pastries. And they scream the worst things in life come free to us, cause she's just under the upper hand, goes mad for a couple grams. And she don't wanna go outside tonight, cause in the pipe she'll fly to the motherland and sell love to another man. It's too cold outside for angels to fly. For angels to fly. No. Ripped gloves, raincoat. Try to swim and stay afloat. Dry house, wet clothes. Loose change, banknotes, weary eyed and dry throat. Cool girl, no phone. And they say she's in the class 18, stuck in her daydream. Been this way since 18, but lately her face seems slowly sinking, wasting. Crumbling like pastries And they scream The worst things in life come free to us Cause she's just under the upper hand and Goes mad for a couple grams And she don't wanna go outside tonight Cause in the pipe she'll fly to the motherland And sell love to another man It's too cold outside For angels to fly now an angel died Covered in white With closed eyes And hoping for a better life This time now We'll fade out tonight Straight down the line Just straight down the line oh. Cause we're all under the upper hand Go mad for a couple grams We don't want to go outside tonight Cause in the pipe we'll fly to the motherland And sell love to another man It's too cold outside For angels to fly For angels to fly Guys, give it up for Ed Sheeran. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you very much for coming and everything. See you guys soon. Cool. Congratulations on all your success and Thank enjoy you. the rest of the tour with Taylor Thank Swift. See you guys soon. Thank you everybody for watching online as well. You can follow us again on Twitter and when you're following us on Twitter with the hashtag. Ed Sheeran up close. Thank you, everybody else, for coming. And thank you to all of our listeners. <laughs>